Hi, boys and girls. This is Anne Miranda. Today we're going to read Mole's Hill, A Woodland Tale by Lois Ehlert. If you have a copy of this book, get it now and let's read together. It was dark in the woods, but not everyone was sleeping. The stars were out. So was Fox. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Fox knew that sound. It was Mole digging a tunnel. Another hump of dirt, snarled Fox. Where there's a mole, there's a mess. Digging tunnels was what Mole did best. Always on the lookout for a juicy worm for breakfast. But once in a while, she took a break and popped outside. That's when she found the note. Mole. Dear Mole, meet us tonight at the maple tree. Fox, skunk, raccoon. When the sun went down, Mole hurried to the meeting. We're planning a path to the pond, said Fox. And your hill is in our way. It must go. Fox says when the maple leaves turn red and orange, you'll have to move, said Raccoon. Better listen to Fox. He's got big teeth. Mole's snout quivered. This was not good news. Mole went home. She didn't want to move. She loved her home right where it was. Suddenly, she had an idea. Some days later, Raccoon and Skunk strolled by Mole's Hill. It looked bigger. I wonder what that mole is up to, Raccoon said. Each night, Mole kept digging and digging, dumping the dirt on top of her hill. Many moons passed. The hill grew bigger and bigger. It was time for the next step. Mole gathered seeds she had saved and waited for the full moon. She climbed her hill, planting the seeds in the dirt as she went along. Soon the flower seeds grew up and burst into bloom, and the grass seeds inched up and made a furry carpet. Mole enjoyed her hill for the rest of the summer. Then one day, the maple leaves turned red and orange, just like that, summer was over. Raccoon and Skunk had forgotten all about Mole. So when Fox sent them to see if she had moved, they were in for a big surprise. What a hill, said Raccoon. What a pickle, said Skunk. If we make Mole move now... She'll take this great hill with her. Fox was not going to believe this. Of course, he didn't. He had to see that hill with his own two eyes. Mole knew he'd come sooner or later. She was waiting. Fox circled Mole's hill on his four furry feet. I've been thinking, he said. What we need is a tunnel. Then our path could go through your hill. Can you dig it, Mole? I can, said Mole. And she did. If you enjoyed this reading of Mole's Hill, please take a minute to like and subscribe to our channel and see our website at www.annemiranda.com. Until next time, happy reading!